Well, today marking the official start to summer, whether you are lying on the beach, I'd love to be lying on the beach right now, <laughs> playing tennis or mowing the lawn. The sun is working hard to redden and blister your skin. Yeah, it is. And despite all those warnings by using sunscreen, sometimes people either forget or they neglect places like the back of the neck, the feet or other sensitive spots that you just can't reach. <laughs> Here to talk about everything you need to know to prevent and treat a sunburn is Dr. Corey Parsi. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. This now, is a perfect time to talk about sun safety. Yeah, it is. Now, we know that you're a dermatologist at, at Kaiser, so thank you so much for your time. Let's start off with this. What home remedies actually work for treating a sunburn? That's a great question. And you know, I'll tell you, a lot of it is just supportive care. So as soon as you notice that you've gotten a burn, the quicker you start treating the skin, the better. Uh, number one, I would say take a lot of cool baths or showers. And as soon as you get out of the shower, pat the skin dry. And when there's a little bit of moisture on it, you want to put a good moisturizing cream on to help lock in the moisture and soothe the skin. What are some things to avoid, things that people do that can actually make matters worse? You know, it's, that's an also a good point because as soon as you've gotten that sunburn, your skin's going to be extra sensitive, particularly to rough fabric. So if you're wearing like wool or something that's kind of scratchy on the skin, that can certainly worsen it. And then for those few days afterwards, you want to make sure you're really covering up as best as possible. And wearing clothes that are tightly woven fabrics are going to be best. So if you take a shirt or a pair of pants and hold it up to a bright light, you shouldn't see any light coming through. That's going to help protect your skin from getting further damage. I have to imagine that when you're applying moisturizers to that sunburn, there are probably some particular ingredients that you should avoid. Absolutely. So products that have canes at the end, C-A-I-N-E, for example, benzocaine, those products, uh, unfortunately, are not good to put on sunburned skin. Um, definitely stick with things like Cetaphil cream, CeraVe, or anything that has like aloe or soy in it. Those are going to be helpful. What are the circumstances with which people should definitely go to see the doctor because of a sunburn? You know, if you're starting to have what I would call systemic or constitutional symptoms, for example, um, feeling like you're dehydrated, maybe developing fever, things like that would definitely be signs to check in with your doctor. Now, we've talked a lot about how you can treat a sunburn, but <laughs> how do you protect your skin from sunburning at all? That's that's the best point. Uh, you know, here at Kaiser Permanente, we're all about prevention. And honestly, that's the best thing you can do during the summer. Obviously, we want to all get out and have fun in the sun, but if you can seek shade, cover up, uh, whether it's some protective clothing, using umbrellas. Um, but if you're going to be out in the sun and you want to get some sun, certainly just use a really good sunscreen that has a higher SPF value. Dr. Parsi, a lot of great information. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And as you mentioned, it's a great time, perfect time to start talking about this, the first day of summer, and we're expecting those triple digits today and throughout the rest of the week. So a lot of good information. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. Yeah, I think it's going to be a little easier uh, with all those temperatures to stay inside and mm -hmm. avoid that sun. Yeah, no excuse whatsoever.